Avalanche registered a massive spike in its generated fees in the recent past, reflecting high usage. Uh, though this might look to be a positive sign only for the blockchain, it might have a broader impact on the ecosystem, as historically such incidents have always been uh, accompanied by, by price hikes. And we had read down for, for Hart Mixon, a popular DeFi researcher, recently posted a tweet revealing a major development in the Avalanche ecosystem. And the blockchain witnessed a surge in its generated fees. The value touched three and a half million. Yesterday, AdAvax generated $3.5 million in fees from on-chain activity. Um, this is merely two times as large as the previous um, all-time high uh, from the previous bull. Active users are further up in 2.5x in the past month. Uh, Redcoin, Gitcoin, and in that same world op where consumers, you have to do this. Hi, I might work, and my video was, uh, and not only that, but Ambi Crypto's analysis of Artemis's data revealed that both Avalanche's daily active addresses also surged over the last month. A similar increasing trend was seen in terms of its TDL, signifying growth in the DeFi ecosystem. Uh, if history is to be considered, the last time AVAX's fee surged, its price also gained bullish momentum. Such an incident last took place during January to April 2023, during which there is a clear rise in its price. Uh, this time the increase in fees was twice as large compared to the previous one. Uh, the effect of the rise in fees was also visible this time as AVAX was among the only top coins that registered double-digit gains. According to CoinMarketCap, AVAX was up by more than 30% in the last seven days alone. At the time of writing, it was trading at $42.30 with a market capitalization of over $15.57 billion. And so Avalanche's uh, growth rate slowed down as its price only increased by 1% in the last 24 hours. And therefore, Andy Crypto checked the token's daily chart to see what to expect next. And uh, not only they feel, um, you know, after the, after a, a sign what disorder, uh, they could go in from the bliss to show. Um, uh, nonetheless, the money flow index was in the overbought zone, which could push the token's price down in the coming days. So, you know, the additionally, Avalanche's price had touched the upper limit of the Bollinger Bands. This meant that selling pressure on the token might increase and in turn reduce its price. Um, realistic or not, you know, here's AVAX's um, market cap uh, in, in BTC's terms. Um, and Avalanche also witnessed a drop in its social metrics in the recent past as evident from the decline in its social metrics when writing the report. In my opinion, uh, they're in their place as far as this face, uh, face job, face soon, uh, that, that many events were introduced in the entire MG level.